think we are live. I think so. Let me see the pop-up. Hold on, let's see. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, Paper Towel Squad uh, <laughs> gaming channel. It's Sagif again, and I'm here doing a late night... Um, well, I say late night. It's the start of the late night. It's 11.23 uh, currently. Um, late night live stream. Um, yeah, the reason why I'm doing a late night one is... Um, uh, my bad, I was supposed to do one earlier today, I was, but I got stuck in Wales, I was doing something uh, personal family related. So, uh, I managed to get home recently, or oh, a couple of minutes ago, and we're just going to, yeah, I guess we're just going to go stream. I'm just going to do Dark Tide today. I think tomorrow I'm going to try and assemble the boys, see if we can do uh, Rainbow Six Siege. If not, then we will try and do something else. Or I could just go back to playing Dark Tide, but yeah, whatever, whatever we feel like doing. But yeah, without further ado, uh, let's get on with it. I think the stream is up and we're good to go. So I did start a new character recently, uh, and it was an Ogrim. I think that's what I was going to go for. Uh, reason why is because they're quite, they're quite tough. They really are tough. So, you know, just trying to... Instead of doing the veteran, the veteran is quite difficult. I'm going to try and get up, uh, level up the Ogre and see if I can mash it out. Then, with lots of credits and stuff, upgrade the veteran stuff and then carry on from there. I do want to take on tougher missions, but obviously tougher missions, higher risk. It's uh, And the risk is quite high. So, yeah, might as well um, uh, go for an Ogre, smash it out, build it up and get going. I did try to make him look a bit more like me. Uh, I think that's quite accurate. I think if you look at my thumbnail, I think that is a bit accurate, except, you know, head size, etc, whatever, whatever you want to say it is. But yeah, it looks good to me. Oh yeah, I still haven't figured out how to turn off stream delay, delay yet, so I will try and figure that out at one point. Uh, I need to do that, you guys need to remind me. Got one concurrent viewer at the minute, so yeah, let's see. Uh, ooh, what's going on here? <clears throat> top messages, what does that mean? Oh, oh, okay, top messages, got you, got you. All right, uh, let's get uh, let's get this going. Hopefully, the wait won't be too long. What I've done is instead of like waiting ages for the game to load, I thought, you know what? Let's get into the habit of loading in, and then you guys don't need to worry about that. We got a problem at manufacturer on HL seventeen thirty six. The primary spell has been disabled. I'm hearing that there's <coughs> demonic infestation involved. Sort it out and get the smelter operational. HL 1736 and its Lehman Russ production lines are vital, so don't foul this up. So it looks like we're heading into like the manufacturing side of things. I actually saw a lot of the manufacturing side of things um, uh, in, in another, in probably when I played offline throughout the street. There's a lot of, you know what, it's so beautiful just seeing it, walking on it. It reminds me of um, the first Spaceman game where you see. Uh, when you're on Forge World, Briar, 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 I don't know how you say it, I think it's Briar, I like saying Briar, so I'll stick with that. Um, obviously in Space, in the, the new Doom style game, Space Marine, where you play as another Ultramarine, uh, beaky guy, um, you go back to Briar and you have to like, you have a clean up crew after Titus. That's why I can't wait for number two to come up, Space Marine 2, so I can just play that. I think the sound's okay, I'm just going to make sure that the sound is okay. Yeah, I think I think you guys can hear me. But yeah, I, I can't wait for uh, Space Marines 2. Uh, gonna smash bugs, kill Tyranids. Get along full of that. Go from that. Hot metal and showering. Air quality is perhaps a little poor. It will improve in the next section. Big machines. Anyway, so you're playing Ogre, you also get a height bonus too. So it's pretty cool. Another ruin of keys. Right, here we go. I love playing as an Ogryn, it's so much fun. It is insane, honestly. I'm almost done here. Nah, nothing. I need to worry about it. Nothing that I need to. Oh! Blow his head off. Oh, hey Ben, how you doing? Yeah, I hope Space Marine 2 has better multiplayer too, to be honest, Ben. Uh, well, we can hope. Yeah, I know it's quite a late stream. Yeah, sorry, Ben. Yeah, I was earlier. Um, I was supposed to do this stream earlier. And I was meant to be back around like I don't know five to eight, but 
uh, personal reasons, I got late, you know, so I thought, you know, I'll do, I'll do a stream today, so, you know, I can, so to say that I have done it, basically, I would, ch I really wanted to, anyway. I didn't want to miss out, uh, and then I'll do another stream tomorrow, hopefully, uh, when I have the time. I'm not sure what time, but obviously you'll find out. <laughs> well, how you been, Ben? You been okay? Seed stream, but this is probably my first dark type stream that you're seeing. I'm trying to stream a lot more. I like streaming. Uh, recording videos and editing videos is uh, a bit long, but streaming is really nice. Simpler, and I think the boys also Stay like it too. I think we, we're, we're trying to utilize it. Having seen you shoot, I'm inclined to agree. But yeah, what's new with you, Ben? Anything going on? Stallion. Hey, George. Maybe he's used in Game of Thrones to his birthday. Oh, so he was left. That's just me. the Balkans, maybe other place, which is where I'm from. And it's pretty much like the name of his religious adventure. It's all to a similar on the day of that saint. Ah, nice. So wasn't what I was looking for, but it's a start. Okay. So St. Ben, I'm guessing is your saint. And he wasn't in your day. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, it sounds like something local to your culture. I haven't ever heard of it. Well, I've probably never met anyone from the Balkans, to be honest. I think you're the first person I've talked to just from the Balkans that I know. Uh -oh. 
Damn it. Random cultures in the room. Prepare so for a oh, yeah. now. <laughs> it's not Saint Ben, it's called Believe Hope Love and my name Ben originates from another name which means love. I thought you meant the one for a specific name for the big. Also it's not a big thing in general because some Spell people don't have oh, on the other side of the assembly line. I'll tell you that's accurate because I love you, bro. You know, you're watching the stream. I appreciate the support. So, yeah, you are much loved by, the, by me and the boys. Oh, Ben also loves you as well. You know, oh, Ben. He really loves you. As soon as you get the screen, he's like, Ben! A grenade! There! The taking! I Damn, that's a lot of guardsmen. I kind of wasted that. But, you know, I'm in the midst, go. Die, Cultus. Die. Seriously? Oh, it's about to get home. Well, I think that is evident. Go to bed. Brain no work. Good on four hours sleep, three days. It's called Dark Tide, bro. It's a Warhammer 40k game. It's done by the uh, uh, fat, the game, uh, game community called Fat Shop. Um, they're known for doing a lot of other things as well. It's, it's brilliant. It's, um, it's like Vermintide. Have you ever played Vermintide? Ah, oh, crap. That's uh, Plague Ogre, right there. Yeah, I told you, you'll be fine. Stay, stay awake. Don't just scream. Come on. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it, yeah, Wham has honestly it's grown within the last 10 years, I'll tell you that. Or the streets in the opposite street, yeah, yeah. Basically, Warhammer is, um, it originally is a tabletop game, and it's basically setting the future of humanity. It's like quite kind of like dark ish, dark -ish but it's, um, it's based around if humanity basically focused on, well, one guy basically decided to make sure that humanity 
stayed united instead of became countries, nations, wherever they just became humans. So there's no flags there. Well, I think there were, but it wasn't really heavily utilized. And they just fight everything that's not human. That's the whole point of it. But just in a futuristic setting. But there's a lot of lore to it. And going into it, honestly, it will take. I mean, it's like asking how, how much time do you have? Yeah. My prayers are answered. Holy ammunition. About fragging time. Alright, let me try. One second. Hold on. Let me try. Let me put the volume down. I think. I think that should be okay. Let me know how that sounds, Ben. Let me see. Because my my voice, my uh my. My volume on OBS for the mic is already on max. I think the game's just extremely loud. Let me know, Ben. Is it good now? Yeah, sorry, Ben. I, I, this game is quite loud. I forget the saying sometimes. Nice. Yeah, so did, uh, did you want me to go over anything? Because I know you, I might have, uh, obviously, you might have not heard anything. Um, yeah, best way to describe Warhammer is basically one guy united humanity uh, to make sure that he protects humanity against what all the other races in the world, universe. And everything wants to fight everything for power, control, anything that you can think of. Um, there are demonic gods that want to consume every living thing. Uh, the soul of every living thing and take over the universe in the material world um, but yeah there's so many factions so much lore it's it's becoming quite popular it's become quite popular over the last 10 years i say i've been a fan since 2012 13 or so. um i accidentally walked into a games workshop which was known for back then and that's how i found out about it and then ever since then i fell in love Now they're getting into like big games, like you know, like with these first-person shooters, third-person shooters, etc., which is pretty badass. How does it smell worth dead? While it's dead, but can't search it. Got more demonic ground. We signed up to work in the UK for our company's plan. Long story short, they wanted to use UK based professionals for advertising. They took us on a tour around London to give a photo shoot with all the landmarks so they could. What's that word? Say, put it on. Sorry, put it. I can't even read it. Put it on the, there about us. Oh, okay, got you. The zealots didn't mean to be so brave. That is literally the story of how I simulate it. You know, you accidentally walk into the shop and that's how you find out about it. For me. Unless you have a friend that tells you about it. And I took a selfie with the giant figure. Now, that's pretty cool, man. I want to go to the um, HQ, which is up in, I think it's Nottingham. I want to say. I'd love to go up there and just see the museum and uh, just 
you know, see the history of where it started. And the guy in the shop had a pick in me and accidentally said something and I panicked and I thought I wasn't supposed to take pictures. But he was asking me if he wanted for him to take a picture of me. Jesus, typing was hard. Yeah, typing can be long, bro, but yeah. No, no, the war people in the Warhammer shop are super friendly. I am on my laptop right now and he has different keyboard scan. It's very hard to type. Don't worry about it, George. Uh, uh, sorry, George, I'm at Ben. It's okay, bro. Trust me. Like, um, I'm used, like, I'm like that with different computers too. Like, if I, I if I use my missus' laptop, yeah, I'll struggle. So her keyboard's tiny, and I'm used to my keyboard, mechanical, and like, obviously, it's bigger as well, uh, more spaced out. So I completely understand that. But yeah, uh, yeah, honestly, like, uh, the people at Games Workshop and the Warhammer Shop, they're actually super friendly. They're really nice. Um, they usually, they usually try and. Like convince you through kindness to sort of in, you know buy the models and enjoy the game, but for me now I just walk in I'm like yeah I know what I'm buying you know what I mean just tell me the price uh, just give me the bag you know what what comes with it that's it. Oh damn hello oh whoa whoa. Oh, we made it. That that was simple. It's a nice, easy mission. That wasn't too hard. There you go. Can I level up? That's the question. Oh, yes, I can level up. But no, I can't level up anymore, though. But yeah. Yeah, leveling up in this game is pain. There we go. I unlocked a new weapon. Have I been gifted a new weapon? Yes, I have. So Ben, go on. On on the top of your head, or well, with research, if you want to, what are your favourite universes from any given media? Games, movies, TV shows. What's your favourite? Like, list the top three or five, whatever, and just tell me why. I'd love to know that. I love asking people that, like, understanding what's your favourite thing. I feel like most workers in that type of niche hobby shop are always the best. They really are, man. They're really passionate. I'll tell you that. Um, best universes. So, like, you know, like Star Wars universe, 40K universe. Um, what other type of universes are there? Oh, my God. Um, the D&D universe, uh, Witcher universe, stuff like that. Examples that what universes are you familiar with or know a lot about? <coughs> and why do you like them? I'll start off. I'll give you an example. The reason, uh, the reason why I love the 40k universe, um, firstly because of one, the variety of characters, factions, units, war styles, and uh, and the lore. It's such a deep lore. That's the reason why I like Warhammer 40k. But yeah, um, I'm most knowledgeable in. Sorry, bro. I'll wait for you. I can wait. <laughs> okay. Do I want to buy anything from the shop? I've got one thousand seven hundred Aquilas um, from the past, obviously. Uh, the buy if I want to. I don't know if I want to buy anything yet. Minute. I'll leave it as it is. I think I'm just trying to save my cash. I will do 
So the Harry Potter, I was a big Harry Potter head growing up and I still like to do my every, um, what's that word, sorry, the heart's in the way, um, every two years reread and I have consumed my, most media. I love Harry Potter too, bro, honestly. The Harry Potter universe is uh, another universe that I really enjoy. I, I grew up with it too. Um, the movies came out just before I was born, actually. I was born in 1998, so that's just showing my age, I'm 25. Um, and... Uh, well, to be honest, when I was growing up, I didn't understand the movies. I, I won't lie to you. I haven't read the books, and I know that is something that is shocking, but obviously, I want to read the books. I've told my missus, I said, listen, I'm going to get the books. I'm going to sit down and read them at some point. I just need to, you know, have the time. It's kind of difficult at the minute on my schedule. Uh, eventually, I'll get there. I will get there, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really want to read the books too. I definitely enjoy the Harry Potter universe. Um, it's it feels relatable because we sort of like the way that their school was it's the same as our school because you know year 7 year 8 year 9 year 10 year 11 and then you do your GCSEs in year 11 and then you move either to college or you do A level so I did A levels so I stayed on for year 12 and 13 and then obviously went up to university um, so it does feel relatable for me uh, Harry Potter especially with the fact that he was in England it was based in the UK. Uh, it, w it was brilliant. I think my favourite characters, if I, had, if you'd ask me my favourite characters of the Harry Potter universe, it would be, uh, in no particular order, it would be Hagrid. He's one of my favourites. Um, who else? I've got to love Neville. Neville Longbottom. Honestly, the, w the his character arc throughout the movies, and I'm guessing the books as well, is amazing. Oh, the 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 twins, the twins, Fred and George. Honestly, best best comedic relief ever. In you know, well, for me, they they were funny. There we go. Let's read uh, this message. So, Half Life Portal Universe, Half Life Two was the first game I got on my first uh, old PC, two thousand seven, and I kept holding out for Half Half Life Three. Recently, got a Valve Index for three hundred from a friend to play. Alex, no way, man. That's awesome. Um, I've never actually looked into the Half-Life um universe. I won't lie. Um, I haven't really put any time to finding out. I haven't played the games, which I think is a shame because I think it's one of them iconic games that you got to go from. Well, like you said, 2007. That's where a lot of the iconic games came from. Um, I, I did actually play Portal. I didn't understand it when I was younger. So if I go back to it now, I'll probably enjoy it. But yeah, I heard um, the VR, I saw reviews and little YouTube shorts on the VR game, the one that came out quite recently, and that looks so good, and people have so much fun, the amount of memes, uh, obviously trying to take the, uh, I think some guy tried to take one of these soldiers' guns when they were getting, I think, interrogated or interviewed, it was quite funny. That sort of stuff is awesome, well, you know, like VR like, adds that extra level of, um, yeah, oh gosh, it's another layer of gaming, basically. Uh, another layer of interaction. My favorite characters are Harry, Hagrid, Dumbledore, and Ron. Oh yeah, Ron definitely. Yeah, I I loved Ron. Um, growing up, he was just the iconic. I don't know, best friend sort of character so you know like in anime obviously they got these stereotypes of characters right you got the MC you got the best friend you got the that's an idiot and then you got the um, it's usually a smart girl that's a sundere or whatever or something like that but yeah Ron is definitely that iconic best friend that is silly but he will always be there for you that it's just awesome uh, Ron was a joker honestly he didn't make me laugh I didn't I don't know, I feel like I had a, a love-hate relationship in the half not the half life Prince, was it? The Deathly Hallows Part 2. In the current fandom, Ron gets overlooked 100%. Yeah, he definitely, I'd say, yeah, he's definitely underrated. Definitely. Heavily underrated. But then that's what happens to supporting characters, you know? Supporting characters usually do get overlooked. I mean, the main, char main characters that people really focused on were um, Harry, Dumbledore, 
and I think Voldemort purely because of the whole mystique and you know the fact that nobody knew much about him in the movies but if you read the books you find out a lot more information I know that for a fact um, my sister-in-law loves the books she read read all of the books um, yeah she, she goes to so many details that the movies miss out I mean are you excited for the the series version of it like the TV season I, don't, I think there's something in the works that they want to bring uh, a TV version of it out you looking forward to that You never heard of it. Um, there's been rumours, uh, don't quote me, I'm not 100% sure because I haven't actually looked into it myself, but apparently um, somebody, uh, some well, well, some people are trying to get a, a TV series or something to make, to, to follow on from basically the Harry Potter uh, legacy. Um, I actually never watched the movies in their proper form. Um, I think you should read them. I would not read them, sorry, <laughs> read a movie. What am I talking about? Watch a movie. Uh, personally, because I think you'll be, n I think for you, it'd be nice to compare or like put faces to things or, you know, s see things. There have been rumors the stream pros. Yeah, sorry about that, uh, Ben. I don't know what's going on. I think the latency is quite low. But yeah, I think, I think for you, yeah, I think watching the movies would be quite good. I think you'd be able to like, understand it and be like, you know what, that's, that's, that's right, that's wrong, that shouldn't be there. Oh, is it your Wi-Fi? Alright, uh, sorry bro. Uh, yeah. If, uh, I wish I could, I wish that I could give you some Wi-Fi, you know what I mean, connect it. That way you can be like, yeah, oh, chill. Damn, that scared the hell out of me, that was a trapper, I would have got caught. Going deeper into the hellhole here. Let me take out this Torox. There you go, killed him. I love making these guys explode now by single gun, uh, shotgun. I've read the books uh, in my mother tongue first, and books one to five had translated uh, names, and six and seven had the OG names. Oh, okay. All right, was it, were there many differences with the translated versions, or was it all the same? Was it more or less the same, where the details missed out? Take that plastic. There we go. Never make a problem that holy Prometheum cannot solve. Always like play. Like a lot of crucial War. details were missed. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, man. I think they cut a lot of stuff, especially when it comes to like movies and uh, yeah, they, they they don't really tend to stick to the script. Then I watch the movies with a dub. Okay. Do you prefer? Did you watch the dub, sorry, in, in your mother tongue, or did you um, watch it in English? And then you reread them in English. Okay, so you actually have done the whole merry-go-round of that. Mother tongue, got you. I just haven't watched the movies proper. As in like paying attention or you like fall asleep during them? Oh, 
I tend to watch the movies every six months. Like, I'll go back and, like, me and the missus have, like, a day where we just... Oh, okay, in English. Like, yeah, me and the missus just, like, have moments where we sort of, um, just go back and we watch them. Two seconds, I'm just gonna read it after I kill this guy. Alright, um, in English, like the dub had the original sound really decreased and they just talked over it and it wasn't a good experience. Ah, okay, I've got you. have a VR headset. No, I'm, I've actually, I don't and I've never had the chance to get one. Um, they're kind of expensive. Uh, I've, I haven't had the, you know, I don't have the funds at the minute to, to whip out on that at the moment. I would love to, eventually. Um, I haven't really tried VR gaming that much either. I, I know a friend who has um, and they, they, they rave about it, honestly. They say it's really great, but for me, I think it's just not something I want to do at the minute, or invest into, or look into. Eventually, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, ben, ben is one of the friends, yeah, actually no, yeah, he actually has, yeah, he actually uh, showcased his uh, VR stuff quite a lot. Uh, no, I was talking about another one, sorry. I know he has a quest. Yeah, he does. Ben, Ben. Yeah, he loves VR, honestly. Um, watching him do VR was quite fun, especially when we did our role play on the old channel. Um, I think. Have you ever seen our old channel, Ben? Yeah, my first experience with y'all was with the scribble with a scribble video. Uh, oh yeah, no, I think uh, was it scribble video? I think that sounds like um, one of the party games that they did. I don't think I was there that day. I was unavailable due to work. Algorithm, so effed up that he recommended you guys after you were shadow banned. Yeah, honestly, um, that shadow ban was just, uh, yeah, that, that really dampened our progress on that other channel. Honestly, we found it so difficult. Um, it's kind of the, re it's the main reason why we branded. I mean, but yeah, I mean, Ben, if I had to, if I asked you, like, what would be the reason why you subscribe to us and what, why do you enjoy our content? Because it's always good to know, you know, have insight. Yeah, when we got Shadow Band on the other channel, that sort of broke our hearts. We worked so hard, and um, when we found out, it just, it just sucked. Or Sniper. face the consequences. Maybe I'd better familiarize myself with the Storm Raptor, just in case. Um, I don't know, I always enjoyed small channels. 
and watching them grow but i stuck with you guys because you were very chill yeah we are we are kind of very chill i mean i mean i don't like really being pushy uh, i'm not really competitive either i like um I like chilling, really. Honestly, for me, gaming is something that I do to relax, enjoy myself. You know, you know, maybe maybe feel that odd bit of stress and adrenaline. You know, what I mean, that odd bit. Not not overload myself in it too much. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, thanks, Ben. I appreciate that. Honestly, that's really kind word of you for saying that we're chill. You know, I like. It's good to hear feedback. You know, that sort of stuff makes us grow. I mean, we really do want to grow. I mean, honestly, I would rather be a YouTuber, uh, make do this as my job, rather than working. Because I, I enjoy it. Games are my passion. You know what I mean? So if I can make my passion you know, a living, I'll do it. Happily. Like, no offense, your content isn't very algorithm optimized, but it feels a lot better. No, no, no offense taken, Ben. Don't, don't worry, I'm not going to be offended by anything. Um, I don't quite understand it, though. Um, very algorithm optimized. What, uh, is there a way that we could be better at that, that? Do you have any ideas, advice? Um, but thank you for saying that our content is better. I mean, we try and make sure that we put quality ahead of quantity. I mean, before we used to do quantity over quality, and I feel that like we just run ourselves ragged. We were being something that we weren't. So then we had like a massive sit down together, and we thought, yeah, let's let's try and get that quality back that we had, and then go from there. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, what is going on? Why is he pulling me apart? No, no, no. Damn, that was, oh my gosh. Man, Chaos, uh, Nurgle health spawns are crazy. I feel like your content quality is great, it's just that it isn't very optimized for low low attention span. <coughs> yeah, definitely. I think Alex has been trying to figure that out. Alex is the one, he's the brains behind the shorts. Uh, he, and then he gets Tim to help him out. Um, they're the ones that can do that. Like for example, your shorts don't start with some extreme over the top fake reaction. Yeah, I think for us we can't really fake it. I mean, uh, me and the boys, we're, we're very chill, like, we're very real, like, we don't like being fake, uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I can't, I don't like being someone I'm not, I want to be someone who is me and do things and then have people like me for being genuine, you know, I, I, I can't stress enough how much I hate being fake, like, I can't fake a reaction just to get views, it's just not in my DNA. If I like something, I'm like, yeah, I like it. If I don't like it, I'll be straight up. Uh, am I on the community Discord for the... You mean for our Discord, Ben? Is it the one that you've made for us? Or help Ben with? I can't say something here in the chat without getting y'all in trouble. Oh, yeah, I think I'm in the community Discord, bro. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm the ancient one. My nickname is there. You know, you, you can tell because my uh, my face is the logo of my character. Yeah, if you pop it in there, I'll have a read in a bit. I can't have, uh, look at the screen yet, but once I get back to the uh, ship menu, I can have a look. <coughs> nice. Cheers, Ben. Okay, 
that didn't do much. Okay, I need to get ammo so I can shoot. Collect samples. Oh, hello. So Colt just wants to die today. Okay, so there's a thing over here. There's the one in the corner. Oh, damn, there's a lot. BRB, one of my Xbox want to sit uh, in my cafeteria on this wooden chair. Yeah, go ahead, man. Why are you sitting on a wooden chair? You know a wooden chair is going to hurt you, man. A wooden chairs always hurt. I've never seen a wooden chair, bro. Unless I have to, obviously. Miss is texting me and asking me if I'm okay right now. I need to tell her that I'm okay without uh, dying. Um, give me two seconds. Just gotta quickly send that message. Alive? Yes, I. Oh, what's shooting me? What is that? What the heck? They got gunners up there, man. Oh no, what is that? Damn these. Uh, I completely forgot they're called now. Fox walkers. There we go. And plate cultists. Damn dog. Two more hits, I'm gonna die. We'll go down. I'm <coughs> 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 my throat. <coughs> uh oh, there's a burst coming. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, reach the extraction point. Cool. I'm good with that. Take the ammo. Alright, so we got extraction coming. Oh, damn. So Valkyrie just took out some stuff. Oh. Let's go. Just 
trying to get to the extraction point now. Without dying. And there's dogs. Hey, Ben, what's up, bro? Don't mind me, I'm chilling. I'm killing. I'm trying to survive. Check out this wall quick. Oh damn, okay, no, maybe not. I'm getting my butt handed to me. <laughs> okay, so I made it to extraction. Oh damn it, I almost made it to extraction there. Okay, almost, so the guys are coming anyway, so it's fine. I just hope I'll be alive before they do. Come on, don't let them kill me. I've got so many on me. There we go, someone better get me up. There we go, these guys have got me. Nice. <coughs> I'm now on my coach with uh, some summer by blueberry cider. Nice, nice one, bro. Hope you enjoy your weekend with it. You know what I mean? I've been at work tomorrow as well, so you can just chill. There you go, that's the mission done. Nicely done, I'll say. I'll be honest with you, that's awesome. There we go. Let's see how much we got. I hope we leveled up. Yes, there we go. Leveled up to 8 trust. Nice. That's awesome. That's what I want to hear. And we've got lots of plasteels and diamantes. So we run up the ripper gun. Uh, what do you do for work if you don't mind me sharing? Well, well, I recently worked for a holiday company. And I left them. So currently I'm out of a job. Uh, so I will be uh, looking for a new one hopefully soon. Um, it was quite fun. I was a team leader. Uh, I looked after a team that usually just dealt with calls. Uh, nothing too extreme. Uh other than that, man, I don't know. My passion, um, passion. If you want to know what my passion for work is, gaming, um, might be law. I, I kind of like law. I enjoy the law system, so I might get into that at some point. Just don't want to rush into it just now, cause you know I want to build a a life before I get in there, cause I know it's gonna take everything out of me. But yeah, w what do you do, Ben? If you don't mind me asking, obviously. Uh, if you don't want to share, it's absolutely fine. You don't look like much, but I guess, as usual, we'll have to work with what we have. We have various devices that we depend on. They make the difference between getting the job done and getting dead. So learn what they're good for and learn how to use them. Can you do that? Trust you. I don't think you've got the brains to handle any of this gear. Prove me wrong. Oh, I'll definitely prove you wrong, Moro. Don't worry about that. We've unlocked a free outfit as well, so I'm just going to try and equip that. There we go. Let's go to cosmetics. We've unlocked this. So the brute armor, sky death camo, extra, 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 extra large. Hopefully, when it loads, we'll equip it. Yeah, we'll just put it. What's this? Oh, prison. Um, hide less, brute size. All right, so it's already equipped. Nice. Okay, and then lower body. We'll equip this. We've got anything for the head? Now we have. An, I really want to unlock um some of the nice helmets. Um. You know what? I'm gonna. I'll probably just cop one quickly. Oh, hang on. Wait. What? What can the brute wear in his back? He can wear a backpack. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Cool. I'll get that. Uh, frame. What frame do I have? I've got this frame. Yeah, I'll get that. Insignia. I ain't got any insignias. 
I work for an IT website creation company from my home country. Uh, the best workers from there got an offer to get sent to ha here in the UK to specialize and kind of serve as advertising. Um, so wait, so are you currently in your home country, Ben, or are you in the UK? And that sounds pretty cool, man. Honestly, like the whole oh, IT website creation—that's amazing. Uh, anything to do with IT right now is—it's is, in. It will always be in. Like everybody needs computers. I'm in the UK and I have been for quite a while. That's awesome, bro. Honestly, so that means you're one of the best, I guess. Yeah, I want to say you are because clearly you deserve some credit. Uh, but that's pretty cool, bro. Well proud of you uh, and happy for you as well. That's a good. That sounds like a good job. I'm just thinking, what should I get for like helmet wise? The old grin. Oh, I can't find anything. Not there's the shop's not really that like, good. Now, my Let's have a look at the uh, commissary. <laughs> helmet wise, it's kind of like that much that stuff. I kind of want to get like the that type, like the goggled visors. But you know what? The set that I'm looking at right now, the most affordable set would be this one, the 195,000 one. I like the grenade belts. They're pretty cool. Ideally, this one would be good, but that's expensive. That that is one million and ten thousand. That's just a random number to add, but yeah, one million ten thousand. Or well, yeah. All right, Ben. I don't actually create websites anymore. I serve as the tech support part of the premium package. But this summer, when half the team left to work for another UK company, um, let me just read. So the heart's always coming there. Uh, I had to create websites again. Well, I mean, do, do you like making websites? I mean, it, it sounds pretty interesting. I, it sounds, I, I, I guess it sounds a little bit tedious, but I think it sounds interesting as well. I mean, do you enjoy it? If you're passionate about it, then, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't sound like a problem, bro. I'd love to get into IT. I think I tried to take on a... Um, what is it? Some type of security course with it. Uh, I think anti-hacking, but I didn't finish it. I should look into it, though. Okay, so we can almost get the shield, and we can get the Brunt's Basher. Got that power mall. I like that. The power mall sounds pretty fun. Uh, Ripper gun. I might check the armor. Let's check. Yeah, let's look, let's look at this. Yeah. So this is stuff that we can buy on the fly. So we can get a cleaver. Cleaver's quite cool. The Ripper is also available, and we've got the uh, these sort of reliquaries. So let's have a look. Two max stamina, eleven max health. I might get that. Let's get a max health one. Processing. All right. So let me read your message, Ben. Uh, before I got sent here in the UK, we had a two-week deadline for a simple website or a month for a complicated website. But if you pay for the premium UK team package, we have to have your website ready in one week. If it's simple or two, it's if it's complicated. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, did you manage to do it? Did you take on the heavy task? Don't mind me, I'm just trying to have a look. Oh, we can get the Aurox shield soon. Uh, I can't wait to get that. Oh, can I just buy that now? Nah. Mm. 
Nah, I won't buy it. I, let me buy it. Yeah, there we go. It's worth the buy. And then I'll use it on some not. I think I want to get the Ripper gun, really. The Ripper looks fun. Then I'll get the auto stubbers. Ah, okay, so I work as a tech support of the premium package, as I said earlier, but when my former co workers left, it was a S show. Okay, I've got you. Yeah, I've got you. It can be. As none was prepared, but they could legally do it as the contract ended. Ah, got you. So you got put in a tight spot. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. I've been in something similar to that as well. But yeah, that, that sounds like it sucks. Let the work begin. Let's consecrate this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade it. Get a new pack. So yeah, five percent chance of cure. Eesh, no, that's not something I want. But okay. It is done. Okay. Let's get. Let's refine them. Refine it. This one. I don't want that. Uh, four percent combat ability. Kind of corruption. Max health. Revive speed. Toughness. Regen speed. Oh, wow, you can actually do a lot. Damage resistant. Toughness regeneration speed is quite good. Let's refine it. Praise the Omnissiah. Sorry, Ben, one second. I'm gonna read the message in a moment. Cool. Uh, and I had to stay for 12 hours! But we got paid for 16 hours. The overtime was time to take. Okay, that's pretty cool. Because the legal team in home country hadn't created the new contracts and they were just trying to get us not to quit. Yeah, I can understand that because trust me, if that was me, I'd want to be quitting too. But honestly, good on you for not leaving. Uh, hopefully you stuck through it and, you know, it's, it was worth it in your opinion. I think what I'm going to do is also, I'm going to let you know, Ben, I think I'm going to come off for the evening. It's currently 12.25, I think you know that as well. And um, for anyone else that's watching... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to call it here for tonight, and I'll do a proper stream tomorrow, hopefully, to make up for today. But yeah, honestly, thank you, Ben, for, you know, coming and watching the stream, and the other viewer. Uh, thanks for participating and commenting, and, you know, it's, it's nice. I love having these chats with you guys, just having a chill moment to play, and just playing the game together. Ben, uh, message me on Discord, um, but yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll read that message that you sent, and I'll catch you tomorrow, hopefully, with another stream. Oh, is it? Okay, cool. Yeah, he's probably falling asleep then. But yeah, see ya, George. Thanks, Ben. Appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.